It is no secret that we humans love convenience. From single-use plastic cups accessible everywhere, to styrofoam packaging that protects objects, plastic has taken over our everyday lives. The oceans provide us with everything we need. Food, oxygen, inspirations and jobs. It also regulates our climate. However, despite its crucial value, we are currently treating our oceans as an enormous dump where anything can be thrown away. Every minute, one garbage truck worth of plastic ends up in our oceans. The good news is that this is a problem which has many solutions. People have the misconception that the oceans are so plentiful that it would be impossible to harm them with human activity. Yet, plastic can now be found even in the most remote places in the world. A product that was once known as a stroke of genius has become the biggest environmental problem in the world. Multiple, and not metaphorically speaking, garbage islands have been created. Plastic in our oceans concentrates in five rotating currents. A huge plastic soup of waste is floating in the Pacific Ocean, known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is the largest accumulation zone of plastic in the world and is located between California and Hawaii. Nonetheless, believe it or not, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is not the only marine debris field in existence. In fact, there are five of them. A total of 1.8 trillion pieces were estimated to be floating in the patch, and one set to weigh an estimated 80,000 tons. This weight is equivalent to 500 jumbo jets. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch covers an area of 1.6 million square kilometers. To put it in perspective, it is an area twice the size of Texas, or three times the size of France. Plastic creates immense problems for wildlife and humans. Birds, turtles, and other sea creatures become entangled in carrier bags, stuck in abandoned fishing gear, and die with their stomachs full of plastic. Who here loves seafood? I know I do. Yet, as multiple species of fish have digested plastic, well, it leads right up the food chain and hence to us. Did you know that the average fish consumer eats 70,000 microplastics a year? Unless we take immediate action soon, scientists predict that by 2050, there will be more plastic than fish in the sea. And that, so now, let's look at some of the solutions. Firstly, we must reduce our plastic dependency. We use an incredible quantity of single-use plastic items, such as straws, plastic plates, plastic cups, cutlery, and cotton buds. Multiple countries have now started performing a ban on single-use plastic items to stop, to stop polluting our oceans. For example, Europe is proposing a ban on single-use plastic items, such as straws, plastic cups, and cutlery, in a bid to clean up our oceans. Next, we need to stop buying water. Each year, close to 20 billion water bottles are tossed in the trash. We should carry a reusable bottle in our bags whenever we leave the house. Additionally, it has been proven that in over 20 countries, it is safe to drink tap water. And lastly, we need to recycle. It seems pretty obvious, but we're not doing a great job at it. For example, less than 14% of packaging worldwide is recycled. Of course, there are millions of more efficient ways to stop our plastic consumption and our environmental footprint. In so many remote, in so many remote islands, such as Bali and Boracay, plastic is a huge issue. Just before the new year, Bali declared its beaches are in a state of garbage emergency. This led to a massive beach cleanup. Workers were reportedly removing up to 100 tons day after day. And Boracay, a tiny island known as the world's most idyllic, is closed to over-tourism in a race to clean up its island and oceans from plastic. Coming back to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, there are many new solutions developing as we speak. A newly developed solution to stop, to stop to collect marine pacif pas plastic dubbers from the, to, from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch has been introduced. So firstly, a C-shaped tube aims to, collect five five cent aims to collect five tons of plastic a month in the, in the, in the length of one centimeter and larger. Next, driven by wind and waves, the floating barrier overtakes and collects marine dubbers, marine dubbers which is pushed along by currents. 
And lastly, every six weeks, a, suburb ves a support vessel comes to collect accumulated dubbers for recycling. We as the future generation need to take matter into our own hands. If we don't do anything about it, this is our destined future. Only seeing turtles in picture books rather than in the sea snorkeling. Only see plastic on beaches when we go, when we go on holidays to relax. We have been handed a world that needs to be saved and it is our job now as the future generation. From natural beauty to economics, the oceans provide plenty for the human race. It is our time to return the favor. Thank you.